Welcome to BAM Teacher Tech. In this edition, I'm going to do a walkthrough of using Google Meet for synchronous learning experiences for you and your students. So I'm logged in in here into Google Meet and yours might look a little different than mine because I have two extensions loaded for Google Meet. The first one is Grid View. And so what that does is enables you to see all of the participants in one happy screen. So it's a lot of fun, especially if you have smaller groups everybody can, you can see everyone on there uh, but the more more people you have in Google Meet the pictures get really small and it starts to glitch out so be careful using that the other one is nod and so n o d and what that does is it enables uh, participants uh, so all the participants will have to have it installed but what you can do is you can give thumbs up and different these different emojis here you can also raise a hand. So I clicked the raise hand button. So if I'm a student, they can click on that button and it says William raised his hand. And so I can address uh, any issues that my students have. And it's, it's really a nice way if a student wants to ask a question so they can hit that raise hand button. You might say, hey, William, turn your turn your mic on so, and ask your question, I think. So really uh, some two, some really great extensions to use with your students. But what we're going to focus on is actually how to present your screen to show something like Google Slides. And so down here on this white bar, there's a lot of different features down here. But the one we're going to focus on is present now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hit present now and I'm going to present a window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have a tab open with my Google Slideshow. And so I know that this is, here is my tab. This is my daily activities or choice board which I did get the template from slidesmania.com. So shout out to them for making awesome templates. So I'm gonna click on daily activities and I'm gonna press the share button. And when I do that, it's gonna pull up my window uh, that has today's activities. You might notice that nothing is happening. I can't see my screen. Everybody else can see what's happening except for me. So what I'm gonna do over here, you might notice there's, here's my little picture up here, I'm waving. Right next to that is your presentation that everybody is seeing. So right there, there's this pin button that is kind of hard to see, but if I go and click inside of there, the pin will show up and now I can see where my mouse is. So now all of a sudden I can go ahead and now see what my students see, which is super fun and amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit present and boom, now I'm in presentation mode in using Google Slides. And so inside of here, you might notice there's some different things, even in the bottom of your Google Slides that you might not have noticed before because you just give out Google Slides in your class. That's just a really cool experience. But here's some things that you could use. The one I like is there is a laser pointer. So you can actually use a laser pointer and it has this really cool laser pointer effect. It doesn't have any sound effects, unfortunately, but I personally enjoy laser pointer. There's also closed captioning in there. Uh, you can also host a QA and a uh, session so you can ask questions and that'll be part of a different video. And then you have your basic navigation here. So you can use your up, down, left, right arrows to navigate. You can obviously press the arrow to go next or you can actually pick your slide. So say if you're in a slide and you're like, hey, I wanna to jump to slide six, I can go to slide six and jump into the goodness there. And so you can work through your slideshow like that. And then when I'm done presenting my slideshow, I'm gonna go back over to Google Meet where the white bar is. And it says that I am still presenting. It says you're presenting, I'm gonna click that button and I'm gonna click on stop presenting. And it's going to bring me back to my webcam. So I just went from my Google Slides back over to my webcam. And now I am done presenting my slideshow. And of course, at any time, you can go back. You can display any kind of content, whatever you would like. So if you, um, if you, want, to, if you want to display a website with how to navigate a website, you can do that. Uh, there's also a feature with Present Now where you can present your entire screen. And I wanna give you a couple words of caution with presenting your screen or your window. So you might notice for mine that I have my bookmarks hidden. And so I have all kinds of various bookmarks 
inside of there. They're all school appropriate, but I want to hide them because I do not want to show off what I've been searching and looking for, and you do not want to do that either. And so, you, of course, you want to make sure that everything is school appropriate that you're showing. And, of course, here I am wearing appropriate attire as I'm giving my synchronous learning event. Uh, my background looks good, so there's not a lot of distractions inside of there. So you want to make sure that you're aware of how you're dressing and also your surroundings using Google Meet. But these are just a couple things that I would do to get started using Google Meet with Google Slides in presenting information in a synchronous learning event. So if you have any further questions, feel free to email me at william.peterson at lcps.org. And you can always follow me on Twitter at BAM Teacher Tech and direct message me there. Thank you so much for watching this video about using Google Meet for synchronous learning events with your students.